Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Coloring Talk with Evelyn. Evelyn Colors. How are you today on this beautiful Saturday evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I am coloring a little bit, but I want to show you these coloring pencils that I have from Kalur. So if you have not seen my short where I colored a little bit with Artisto pencils, I've already tried those out. And now today I'll be coloring with these. But you know, already know, probably, I've already tried these out in the book that I will be coloring in today. And I will show you how that looks. I will also show you the swatches from these pencils. I have 72 Kalur pencils that I'll be debuting today. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the live stream. Miss Coloring View, welcome. Also, Alabama y'all, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Coloring View for thumbs in the thumbs in up the live and sharing it. I appreciate it. Hey y'all, that's what we say around here. Hey y'all. <laughs> All right. So today I will be um, doing a few things with these Kalur pencils. Uh, I only have 72. If you watch my haul video, you saw that I hauled these in that video. If you are catching this live stream on the replay, welcome to you as well. All right. Let me get this little stuff off the screen here. So how's everyone today? in your neck of the woods. I don't know how the weather is supposed to be. It wants to get cold where I am. I'm in the south, southeast in Georgia, and I don't know how to dress these days. <laughs> I don't know if I should dress warm or for warm weather or for cold weather. Eventually, the weather will make up its mind. Okay. So first off, uh, I always do conversation starters. These are just questions that you can um, talk about in the live stream. And if you have any answers to these questions, you can shoot away in the comment section, okay? I chose eight questions from the card deck here, and I'll periodically pull one throughout the live stream. Okay, so the first one that I have, and I don't know which one it is, but I did select these personally, <laughs> and I will just shuffle them up and choose one, and then I'll ask you the question, and I'll show you my swatch of these colored pencils. Have any of you used Kalur color pencils? Let me know, okay? All right, let me take this off the screen here. All right. And we have Miss Color Review. Thank you. I just want to acknowledge you on the screen while I'm getting ready and waiting for people to come in. <laughs> Alabama, y'all. Okay. You finally have sunshine after a week of rain. Okay. We had some rain too, but, but sunshine is always a good thing. Always. Yeah. I wonder how do I get my name off of here? I don't want my name to show when I take the take the um I have the 72 set mine came in the round cylinder. Okay, okay. Miss Color Review, can you tell me? I know you use Restream. How do I get this get my name? Let me see. Off of here. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I guess it's okay to be up there. Okay, she says, I've only used them in a swatch. I have 300 set. Whoa, you have 300. Okay. I think I've seen up to 500. <laughs> 300 is a lot of pencils. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to go ahead and get started. This first question is, what is one thing you remember most about your grandparents' house? Mm, 
I remember the little candy dish, and we always would get the little candy out of the dish. <laughs> I remember that. So what is one thing that you remember in your grandparents' house? It's a little tap. It's a little tab to the side. Slide over. Okay. All right. Let me see. I'm trying to get my name off of here. I don't want it up here. Uh, okay, I see. Let me try to take the name off here. Bear with me. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I had to have my name up here. Oh, well. Something with banner or something, I can remember. I know it said the top. Right. Okay. Anyway, if it doesn't bother you, I will... Um, let me see. If it doesn't bother you, then I'll keep it up there. It kind of bothers me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The smell I have, the wind box of buttons that still has a hint of it. Always smell. Okay. I do notice a smell with these pencils, too. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my name right here. I don't want to leave it here, but I can't figure it out right now. I think I can't. Hold on. Set settings. I don't want to be holding any of you up. Publish links. Participants name. There we go. All right. <laughs> I got it all. <laughs> all right. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my swatches from Kalua. I have the 72. I have sharpened them already. And I, I, I've also used them a little bit in my um, coloring book. Now, somebody told me that on these pencils, let me pull up one. They have, come on, get in focus for me. They have these little pluses on here. Is that, does that have anything to do with life fastness? I actually was doing some research on these pencils and they said that this didn't mean light fastness. And I also looked up the pencils on Amazon to see if they said anything about light fastness and it doesn't. So anyway, let me know what, what these little pluses are or, or stars or whatever they're, they're called. I think they're pluses. But what I think, this is what I think. I think the more vibrant and more saturated it is, the, the more pluses there are on the pencils. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Let me know if these pencils are light fast, have has any light fastness, because I kind of don't think they do because they are budget friendly. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> okay. Okay, you say you believe so. Okay, light fastness. All right. Okay, so here is my swatch of these pencils. I don't do fancy swatches. I just kind of you know <laughs> put things down. But they swatched pretty good, and I like the way they felt on this paper. And this is kind of like heavy paper. They also look fairly saturated to me like vibrant like they say on the box so that is always a good thing to have some vibrant pencils yeah this is pale yellow let me look up pale yellow right quick okay that says three has three pluses light yellow and then I have about, I forget how many metallics in here, but there are some metallics in this set. Not many, but 
the ones that are metallic, there is a somewhat of a, a shimmer to it. Yeah. So these are my swatches, 72. I didn't want to swatch them on screen because I didn't think you wanted to see that. You'd probably be bored with that. <laughs> but these colors are, are kind of vibrant, I think, which I was surprised by that. Okay. Has a lot of blues. And greens, which, you know, I think we use a lot of blues and greens in coloring anyway. So I guess that's why it has a lot of blues. I don't know. <laughs> but these are the swatches of the Kalur 72. I like these pencils. I did try them out in the book here that I'm sharing with you today, the spooky book. I'm going to show you what I've colored so far with these pencils. I did this. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Whenever I zoom in, my lighting kind of goes out, <laughs> goes did darker. But I did this one, and I realized these are some pretty good pencils, and they work well on this paper. Now, this spooky paper is fairly heavy, and it's thick, okay? Kind of like a car stock. I colored this, and I, I was pleased with how it turned out. I also was playing around with coloring this these little bat bat ghosts i guess the little house here the little pumpkin and i like how everything turned out with the pencils so i decided yes yeah, spooky would be the book for me to color in <laughs> with these pencils so i'm going to go ahead and get started with coloring i'm going to color this page here and this page has a lot of different little items to color let me tell you what she says about the page on the left hand side here and then i'll get to coloring here gotta take my glasses off <laughs> all right there are many mysterious items in the witch's house some are more magical others less yeah what does it say others less so a vial of enchanted mushrooms an old volume a self-ringing goose feather and a newt's tail as well as a portrait of a grandmother, dried herbs or herbs, quartz crystals, and a crow's skull. Okay. So she's telling you on the left hand side what all these items are. So I'm going to start coloring. And I don't expect to get this finished on this live stream. That's not my purpose <laughs> for doing live. I do live streams to connect with you and to chat with you and to do a little coloring that's why i call it coloring talk <laughs> so we can chat and i can catch up with you and you can catch up with me and you can tell me some things because sometimes i learn stuff from you about how to use certain things that i have that i wouldn't know how to use normally if i hadn't have asked you okay so let me check my here okay so you think that the pluses are for the life fastness that's what they claim but not sure how true it is i really honestly don't believe it's true <laughs> because i'm gonna i have i'm gonna share something with you about what they say about the pencils on amazon and i would think if they had some type of light fastness they would say that under the product. But here is what they say about Kalur on Amazon. Then I'm going to get to coloring. I don't want to bore you too much. <laughs> okay, it says that Kalur 72 count pencils for adult coloring book. Soft core, ideal for drawing, sketching, shading, and all that good stuff. It's a perfect gift set for adults and kids. Okay, it says 72 pack vibrant color pencils. Each pencil body has a unique number and color name for easy color identification. Color pencil is made of high quality base wood or basswood, I'm sorry, basswood, which is very easy to sharpen. Soft core um, color pencils have soft core, the silky smooth velvety soft pencil lit, lit, lit leads lay down 
lots of vivid color. The color core are highly pigmented, perfectly for coloring and drawing. Now, they are velvety smooth. I noticed that when I was coloring the little items that I showed you that I colored before. Um, it says that they are break resistant cores. They produce incredible tone, perfect for blending and layering multiple colors. 72 colors. You can find any color you need in these to enrich your coloring book. Perfect set for adults. Okay, beginners. And it doesn't say anything about light fastness. But what it does say, if I scroll on down, the ink, it says ink base is oil. Okay, so I guess these are oil-based pencils. That's what it's saying here on Amazon. So anyway, I like these pencils. I don't know if I would buy a bigger set. <laughs> I'll just stick with the 72, use those up, and, and then I'll see what, what's going on. Okay. They do not have light fast. Okay. I didn't think so. But somebody told me they were, and I was like, mm, I don't know about that. I think that the, the level of plusness is the vibrancy of the color because I showed you the pale pink. The pale pink had three pluses. And just me thinking and looking at my swatch, the pale pink looked very light. So I'm thinking that the more pluses it has, the more saturated the color is. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. Hi, Don Dini. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. Okay. You like them too. I like them. They really did well in this book. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I don't know why my light. I might just have to just be out <laughs> because if I zoom out, the lighting is better. If I zoom in, the lighting gets dark. So I'm going to keep it out. I hope you can see this very well. If not, let me know. You might be into something with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It sounds about right, Miss Color and View said. Okay, you're good. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I like the feel of Kalua's too. I was surprised when I tried them out here. I said, whoa, these are smooth and silky. I like these. I might have to buy some more in the future. Okay. Um. I have a case coming today. I, I bought a, a 72, yeah, 72 pencil case to put these in because they will fall out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to color probably the hat. What color is a witch hat? Somebody give me a color in the chat that I can color this, this little witch hat. The flowers here, I'm going to go for what I know. <laughs> I was surprised. Two great pencils and cheap. Yeah, I paid $11 and some change for these. So, they're pretty good. Let me know what color to color this witch's hat right here. Right here. I'm over here using my mouse thinking you can see my little mouse. <laughs> okay. See, every time I, I just... Okay. I'm going to color these... Um, flowers here i know this witch hat is going to be dark so i'm going to go with lighter flowers here okay let's see yeah these pencils are so smooth they didn't lie about it being silky smooth <laughs> at least on this paper that that's in the spooky book these pencils are smooth. When I'm not talking, I'm coloring. So 
<laughs> I'll check the chat after I finish what, what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, you said purple, black, gray. Okay. I got you. I got you. So I'm going to pull out purple, black, and gray. See if I can find purple, black, and gray for the hat. That would look good because I use, this is kind of like an orange. Uh, and it's, it's, an, it's an autumn gold that I colored the flowers with. So that would be good. Purple. I got to look in my. <laughs> you gotta look at my swatch here. 154 metallic valid. Okay, 154. Okay, I have a purple here that I'm gonna take out. And I'm gonna take out a dark purple too. And I am going to take out a pale purple. Let's see. Pale purple here. Okay. Got that. Thank you, Alabama, y'all, for telling me <laughs> the colors. And you said black and gray. I'm going to do purple and put a little, little black here. I'll get the black when I get. After I cut color that. Type perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. So I have my yellow here that I've used. I I want to, you can't, you probably can't see that. Let me just, my lighting is not the way I want it to be. Okay. I had to, to use my little desk lamp to make it a little brighter. Now that's better. All right. So I've colored the flowers here. I'm going to go in here and put some green for the leaves, more or less like a, a dark green. Do they have a dark green? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah olive green I see you I see you olive green I guess it's yeah that's olive green guess I could have gone a little darker now I can't see <laughs> So I'm coloring the leaves green. They could be more than one type of green, but I'm just sticking with one green. <laughs> and even for this stem, I'm going to make the stem the same color as the leaves. Okay. One thing about me coloring, I'm sitting up high and then I have to look, get really close to it because I wear glasses and I can see up close better than I can far away. So I have to get a little close so I can see what's going on here. All right. Another uh, YouTuber, I think, um, Bianca, she says she likes to use these pencils with her Kirby books. I can see that. I can see that working pretty good because the paper is similar to, to this paper here. All right. So now I'm going to go in with the hat here. And this is going to be purple. I'm going to use... Just the regular purple color here. Go 
looks like I can't cover because <laughs> I'm all turned different ways to try to see what I'm doing. I'll leave it a little bit of white because I'm going to go in with the pale purple. Yeah, I like the way these feel. Feel very good on this paper. They say make little circles when you're coloring. Sometimes I just go straight and make more of a long oval movement with my pencil instead of little circles. Yeah, these are pretty good for the price. And I know my camera is shaking. I apologize for that. But I'm right with, right here by the tripod coloring. So it's going to move some. Okay. I like to use uh, different colors. Makes me think I, I know what I'm doing <laughs> more than one color. <laughs> Notice I do use more than one color. Things come out a lot better than I thought it would come out, turn out. So I just go with the flow. I think I'm going to ask y'all another question. And if you want to answer, you can. The conversation starter. Where is my card? Here we go. What family member are you most like? What family member are you most like? I'm most like my dad. He was a quiet man, but he didn't take no stuff. <laughs> so I'm kind of like that too. I'm quiet, but don't don't mess with me. <laughs> Nicest person you ever meet, but don't mess with me. I'm just like my dad. My brother is just like my mother. <laughs> I'm just like my father. So what family member are you the most like? But I've been told I have a temper like him, so I can get mad easily. I used to be really, really rough as a kid <laughs> growing up. I would get mad about stuff and cuss, <laughs> do a lot of cussing. <laughs> Ooh, those were the days. You probably seen as a child, why were you cussing? We weren't cussing in front of our parents. It was would be like when we we're out playing with, with our friends, we would just cuss up a storm. <laughs> This little part here where it's dark, where the lines are, I'm going in with a, is this the dark? Oops, yeah, the darker purple. But this probably should have a little black in it too. Because this is underneath the hat where it should look dark.
Okay. Don Denny says she's like her dad. My mom for sure, Alabama, y'all. I get mad easily. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would get mad easily. My brother and I, we used to fight all the time. Crazy. <laughs> I grew up in the 70s and the 80s. I'm a Gen Xer. We were kind of left alone a lot. Walking to school by ourselves, coming home by yourself, all that stuff. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get a darker, like a gray. I grew up in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I remember going to the center, playing games, going skating with our little skating skates that we would have. We have to pay, what, 25 cents to get in? <laughs> it was fun. It's where I learned to play pool and ping pong and stuff I'm putting this what is this color this is dark gray I'm putting this around here I know it kind of looks a little cray cray but <laughs> I wanted to darken up this this purple here okay all right, this is purple. I'm going to use purple here for the cone of the top of the head. Do you have the spooky book? Let me know. This is a book I bought because of another YouTuber. I think it was Bobini Creates. I think she had it and I liked it. And I said, let me get that book. It was around probably Halloween time or October or what, September, October when I bought it. Last year. Because it has a lot of, you know, pages in here that you would color for Halloween. Now, I'm not a person into this type of stuff, witch stuff, but I don't mind coloring it, <laughs> coloring things like this. Yep. You see my time here. Doing pretty good. Thank you to everyone who joined me today on the live stream. I appreciate it very much. I do live streams every two weeks, I guess. I didn't do it this time, like the first Saturday. And this month, I wasn't able to have a live stream. I had a prior engagement that I always have every two months. The first Saturday in the month, I have something else I have to do. So... I started with the second Saturday in this month. Kind of make that light. Have any of you taken any coloring pencil classes? I have a class that I'm signed up for, but I have yet to even <laughs> like get in there and watch the videos and stuff. I don't know why I'm so lazy about doing it because I paid for the class. I just haven't 
I don't have time to like sit down and go through videos and I don't know. I have to make the time, I guess. <laughs> I can't really, I'm coloring, but I'm, I'm farther away from this hat than I need to be. <laughs> so if it looks kind of crazy with the way I'm, if I'm standing in line or not, because I can see it, but I can't see it that well. So. I'm going over this with the pale purple here. Okay. No classes, but I have a few books. Okay. I have the books too. <laughs> I need to I need to be looking in those. I don't know what it is. It's just like I just want to do it. I don't want to have to like take a class or even look in a book. I think I learned from watching other people do things on, on their channel. And then I go and try to replicate it. <laughs> but I do want to understand, like, why you do certain things, how you do certain things. Yeah. I'm going to make this black, I guess, with some gray in it, thanks to Alabama Y'all. <laughs> All right. Let's put my purple here. I'm going to pick up another... Another question in just a second here. Here we go. I got my gray. All right. Oh, wow. I think I've done this before. <laughs> what What's the first big news story you remember hearing about as a child? What's the first big news story? My first big news story, I was nine years old and the president got shot. When I came home from school, I saw it on the news. I was, I remember being so upset and I can only imagine like the things that kids see nowadays. I don't know <laughs> how they are able to watch the things that they they watch and see the things that they're exposed to but i was so i remember being so upset president reagan and i don't know why i was upset because i didn't really know nothing about the president <laughs> I guess I was like, I don't want the president to 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 die. <laughs> oh no. But he ended up being okay. But at the time I was very upset. So what I'm doing, I'm going over this with a lighter gray. I might need to make this even darker. I don't know. But I don't color witches hats that much. <laughs> so. I'm going to go in here with this darker color. Because I want it to be a little bit more darker.
Alabama, y'all. I just thought about um, you color your, I like the way you color your grayscale, the people that you be coloring. Well, not, you know, you color people. <laughs> you do such a great job. And I like when you had showed how to select colors for for a page because you said, hey, I I got this little cup right here <laughs> that I put my pencils. I went straight to the Dollar Tree and got me two of them because <laughs> they, they are, I like them. They're helpful to just take out your colors. Yeah, I sure did. I think they would maybe a dollar. I don't know. Okay. I would like to make this hat a little darker. She says the Reagan and Carter debate. Okay. I don't remember that, but I think I was around when they had the debate. I don't think I paid too much attention to stuff as an eight, nine year old. I wanted to send him jelly beans. <laughs> Alabama y'all said she wanted to send him jelly beans. Okay. And okay. All right. You are welcome. Okay, so I have my little hat done. And I'm gonna color something else here. Um let me zoom out some. This is a broom here, but this broom looks like it has some little flowers. Let me color the cup. I like coloring cups. <laughs> I am going to color this cup a color. I think I'm going to try to use some of these metallics here. Okay. I like this metallic and this blue. Okay. We have a metallic teal. A metallic cyan, I guess that's how you say it. And a metallic red. I'm just pulling out the metallics because I don't really know what I want to use just as of yet. We definitely know you got some something in here that you're drinking, maybe like a little bit of coffee. We're gonna make that brown. Okay. Or hot chocolate. <laughs> Okay, let me zoom back in here. Okay. This is one of the pages I selected for April to color. Sometimes I do like to color individual things. Because it just gives me more of an opportunity to practice coloring stuff. And I'm just following where these little lines are. I just put a darker shade there. Okay. Have our little whatever's in this cup drink here. Now, let me come back a little bit. Hmm. I'm looking for another color that will go with my teal. Hmm. I think outside the box here. This is the metallic teal. Thank you. 
Sorry if I'm not talking much when I'm coloring it, it's hard for me to talk. <laughs> I have to kind of stop at a point so I can talk. With this cup, I'm just coming up with something off the top of my head. I did not choose colors before <laughs> going live, so. Okay, let's see. That's the metallic teal. I'm going to see if I can find another color that's similar to that. Yep, I did. This is aqua green. It's probably going to look crazy. <laughs> no, that's fine. Coloring is supposed to be what? Fun and relaxing. I shouldn't have to be stressing over my colors. Just grab something and go. <laughs> That's the way I'm thinking now. I'm trying to like focus on this, but, but it seems like I'm stressing myself out over the colors and how it's going to look, but I'm cool. Okay, that's what you're saying. Actually, was the election, not the debate. I wasn't even in school yet, but my grandpa taught me what I was watching. Okay, he, okay. You remember that. That's, that's pretty good. Thank you. Okay, let me pull another question. I had to get a darker color because it looks like this metallic is a little light. So I'm going in with a little more pressure to make it stand out. So, okay. All right. So what, oh, woo, okay. Who or what in your life brings you the most joy? Who or what in your life brings you the most joy? I'm going to do a what and a who. What? Coloring. <laughs> and who? My daughter, Hannah. She's how old? 17, about to be 18. And she has trisomy 21. And she... Has us laughing all the time. She's so sweet. Such a perfect person in my eyes. <laughs> Regardless if she has an extra chromosome or not. She is my little angel. All right. So who or what brings you the most joy? Okay. I am going to, I guess, keep this like this. Aqua green. We're going to go in here. People say start with um, light colors and then go dark. How do you do it? I kind of, it just depends. I normally switch up sometimes. I do light, but then I'll do dark like I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm going where the darkness is. I'm going to make that cup gray. Yeah.
And speaking of joy, I could be feeling down or something could be getting bugging me. And it seems like my daughter can pick that up and sense that she'll just come and give me a hug. And I haven't said anything. It's like she knows. <laughs> All right. Let me see what color this metallic red would do here. I think that would look pretty good. Okay. Alabama, y'all said my kids. Okay. You said I switch up, but usually start light. I do too. Because I have noticed that when I do, <laughs> sometimes I just... I noticed that, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. I probably shouldn't have used a dark color first. I guess it's all about, ha you know, learning as you go and seeing what what works and what doesn't work. Like what I'm doing now. <laughs> I'm doing some different stepping outside the box here. This is a really weird page, right? So you can color it however you want to color it. That's the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> but I'm going to be light-handed with this. This is a metallic red. But to me, it looks kind of like a pink. So I'm kind of trying to be light-handed with this, but sometimes it's hard to be light-handed, especially when you hold the pencil, when I'm, when you're not holding the pencil properly for it to be light. <laughs> and I'm not holding it where I can put it down pretty lightly. Now let me move my fingers back a little, little bit. There we go. I think I'm going to give this cup some color in the eyes because those are eyes right there. <laughs> Try to go light. I just got an idea. <laughs> Since this is supposed to be spooky, I want to make it look a little spooky. This is the metallic red. Go over here and kind of make it a little dark. And let that stay light. Okay, let this stay light. All right. And I'm going to... Hmm. I was going to choose yellow, but I know this is red and I didn't want it to make it make it look weird <laughs> like an orange but the yellow i'm gonna put in the eyes <laughs> just to be a little bit different i'm gonna use autumn gold
And I want a gray. I just got an idea. <laughs> Put these pencils over here in my little cup. Alright, let's see. Is this yeah? I don't want to color the eyeball completely white. I just want to kind of put a little gray in there. Okay. So, got my little cup. I don't know how it's looking. <laughs> I just went with the flow here to do something different. Let's see. You know what? I have a watch here. And you know what it's saying? Stressful period. High stress has drained your battery. <laughs> I guess I'm stressed on the live. <laughs> okay. You say you, you usually switch up, but you usually start light. Yeah. Okay. That's what we were talking about. You try never to lose your light. Okay. You said, I like it. It reminds me of a little dainty flower pattern teacups. Okay, thank you. Hey, Miss Wambui, how are you? I watched your video about food. I didn't leave a message. It was a pretty good video. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Thank you, Miss Wambui. Okay, so I have my hat and I have a little cup. And let's see how much time I have. Well, my time is up, but this is a page that I am going to color for April. Hopefully, I'll get it finished. But my goal is to finish this page over the weekend and I'll post it on my community tab so that you can see how it looks. Okay. I have one more question to ask because as I stated, when I do live streams, I don't really come on here to color per se. I come on here to chat with you and to catch up with you, learn something for you. Like um, Alabama Yashi she told me she starts with light. So I could start with light colors more often than I do dark. Um, so I come on here and I learn stuff and I engage with you and that's why i come on here most of the time not to really color <laughs> because it's hard for me to color and talk and check the chat and all that stuff okay i kind of need an assistant for all that i'm just a one woman show okay so here is a question hmm i don't know the answer to this for myself who's been the most influential person in your life Oh, yes, I do. My grandmother. <laughs> my grandmother was the most influential person in my life, I believe. She taught me things that I needed to know at an early age. And as I got older, I didn't forget what she taught me. Okay. So who's the most influential person in your life? If you don't want to answer, that's fine. I just want to um, thank you for coming to the live stream and being with me today alabama y'all coloring view don denny i'm saying these names off the top of my head miss one buoy thank you everybody for coming in i did not finish this page but again the goal is not for me to complete the page but to show you how these pencils actually work and they work okay i like how they work so I will complete this page with the color coloring pencils or colored pencils. And I'll take a picture of it and put it on my community tab probably tomorrow or Monday. Just know that I'll post it up, okay? <laughs> Alabama, y'all says... 
her most influential person. I'm looking through my viewfinder. Okay, it's my grandma, <laughs> my grandmother too, and Miss Wambui says, uh, "Sorry, I skipped." She says, "My mother." Okay, and most influential person. Nice combination of colors. Thank you, Miss Wambui. If you are into crafting. I don't know, Miss Wambu, are you uploading videos? I was about to <laughs> tell them about your channel. Well, even though she's not uploading videos, she has a lot of helpful tutorials on how to loom knit. So if you're interested in loom knitting, she is the person to go to because she has a way of teaching that craft. And I learned how to loom knit by watching her videos. So check her out when you have a chance all right so that is it thank you everyone for joining me today coloring view i think i said her name down denny one buoy uh i feel funny miss one buoy <laughs> and alabama y'all and anybody else who was on the live but didn't um chat in the chat i thank you okay type in the chat i thank you for being here today and i thank you for catching the replay you guys have a nice rest of your day as well as weekend and until next time you know what you better do you better keep calm and keep coloring bye